Welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. Um, I had a customer drop off a quilt today for quilting and we discussed some ways that we could quilt it, her quilt top. And um, it, it is a pretty simple one, so I thought I would share with you the process that I go through um, to recreate the quilt and put on uh, the quilting designs and then subsequently share an image with my customer. So I started in electric quilt. Like I said, this is a fairly um, simple quilt. So um, I would design a quilt from scratch. So I go to my quilt work table and I chose a simple layout, a simple horizontal layout, because um, this is based on um, just six inch squares that's the entire quilt and then if we go to design it, they are six inch squares that are half square triangles so um, it makes kind of an offset chevron pattern so this is a mock-up of what the um, quilt looks like so you know the half square uh, block is one of the default blocks in uh, in the electric quilt program so I didn't even have to recreate that block but I did need to re recolor it so I went into the block work table and it's a blue and white quilt um, because it's white I wanted to use sort of a gray for the uh, white color so once you have your block set and colored save it into your project sketchbook and then I went back to the work table selected the block under block tools and set block and set that block into my quilt top and then I did some uh, rotation to set it up to make that offsetting chevron pattern so that's how easy it is to design a quilt and mock it up real quick. So then I wanted to take an image of that quilt. I want to take it over into Art and Stitch to lay some uh, quilting designs or audition some quilting designs on top of it. So again, we go to the Print and Export tab. I want to select Export from the ribbon and we're going to select Image. And here I have already saved this image, um, called it Chevron Offset. It saves in my EQ8 under Images. That's the default files that load when you install EQ8. So we'll go ahead and click Yes, already exists. And this is um, the default dimensions of the image that it's going to export, which is 8 by 8 because it's a square square quilt. And if we want to um, delete the outlines of the patches of the blocks or the blocks themselves, that's these little fine lines um, that you see on the work, EQ work table, um, you can uncheck these boxes. So you would just uncheck those or check them which, whichever you wish and then click OK. And it's as easy as that. We've already saved our quilt image. So let's go over to Art and Stitch. And here I brought in a backdrop of the quilt. And that is what I designed my quilting designs on. If I move the navigation tool out of the way, you'll see that um, it can come in quite dark and you can't see the quilting design, so I lightened it up a bit using the little slider, and then I can see the quilting designs when I lay it on top. So fade out your backdrop. I also adjusted, remember, um, it came in at 8 inches. I resized it to 24 inches because I have 4 blocks by 4 blocks, and um, they're 6 inches, so 4 times 6 is 24. So, once that's all set up, I went over to uh, start drawing or laying quilting designs on top of this quilt. 
and we decided on this horizontal uh, lines for the white, vertical for the blue, and I just drew those using my line tool and turning on my grid to assist me in drawing. So just zoom in on it and use your grid lines to lay out your straight lines. So let me zoom back out, turn off that grid. Once I had uh, one V of the chevron set up, I went ahead and duplicated that, laid it on the next um, horizontal V of the chevron. And so that's how it's going to look as it sews across the quilt. I took that two blocks, I selected those two V's together and reversed them, mirror imaged them, and then I have my next row down here. So that's how easy it is to set up uh, your quilting design in Art and & Stitch and get a preview of it uh, with your quilt top in the background. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channels. I'm always looking for uh, new topics to talk about. Uh, you can email me at kksquiltstudio.com. And you can also find more classes if you want to learn more about art and stitch uh, quilting software or embroidery software and electric quilt. Or join uh, my Facebook group, Art and Stitch Pro Stitcher Premium digital quilting fuse. I hope to see you there and until we meet next time I'm wishing you happy quilting.